hi guys victoria here today and today i have a rose flower and you know like if you watched my other video i i i was giving rose fresh roses and i really don't know what to do with them because they are ready <laughs> petals are already wilting and i'm like oh wait we buy rose water why not make rose water now that you have rose <laughs> so yeah this is how you make your rose water now the first thing i'm going to do is to remove the petals only and wash them i've actually washed this flower before but anyway just to let you know you have to wash your petals so after washing it i used uh, a knife to cut it into pieces so that they infuse faster you can use this rose water wait let me let me put uh, a caution this one was given to me so i really don't know if i can use it directly on my face okay it's because it's not i don't know if it was i don't know how long if it was planted and brought to me directly. i don't i don't know i don't know so i'm not going to be using this particular one on my face directly i'm going to be mixing it inside my products like soap cream and all of that but if you have a fresh rose flower this is how you make your rose water okay so the first thing i'm doing is to wash the first thing i did was to wash them and then cut them into pieces then i'll get a pot and put them into the pot and put water into them and put water in it so after putting water in it i'm going to put it on fire i'm not going to put it directly on fire i'm just going to put it i'm going to do the double boiling method so a pot is on fire with water already i'm going to put this one into the pot and wait for it to fully <coughs> excuse me and wait for it to fully infuse by that time you see that the color of the water has changed the color of the rose will also change at that time so after leaving it to boil until the whole color of the rose has changed i'm going to sieve it out after sieving it out i added Optifen 2 is a preservative into it because I don't want it to get spoiled. I don't know. I just like putting preservative in anything that has water, uh, any of my product that has water contents because, of course, it's better safe than sorry. So I'm going to add preservative into this. I'm using Optifen 2 in this production. And then after adding the preservative, I'm going to transfer it into a container, close it up. And that's not where it all ends. I'm now going to put it in the sun, under the sun, for two days. So, that's all. Let me know if you have tried this before. If you are going to be trying it with the roses you are going to get soon. Or... <laughs> Anyhow, Sha, thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe to my channel. Bye. No sun yet, but leave it in the sun. Bye.